Model Making Guru is sponsored by eModels.co.uk, your one-stop shop for all your model making needs. eModels.co.uk, make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome to a very quick video. Got a few things to cover very quickly today. First of all, a cautionary tale, something I did wrong in the first actual proper video for the Build Your Own X-Wing part work that I need you not to do. Secondly, there is gonna be a giveaway at the end of this video, so do stay tuned and watch to the end to find out what you can win and how. And last of all, before we do any of that, I need to remind you, if you are thinking of doing this yourself, getting yourself the Diagostini X-Wing, and you're in the UK, then I have a special link and promotional code code for you to use that will net you some free stuff. If you go to this URL here, I'll put it in the description below the video, but go to that URL and use the promotional code Promo X Wing UK. That's Promo X Wing UK. And I'll put that in the description below the video as well. Go to that address and use that code and you can win yourself a rather spanky free Boba Fett, 200 millimeter Boba Fett figure and a tin plate Star Wars poster, both of which you'll receive with issue 10. So make sure to use that code and that URL. And if you're in the UK and you're subscribing, you'll get that loot. Now, on to the issues. Now, hopefully you're watching this before you've watched any of my other videos. This has been recorded just after I did the first episode, which covers issues one to three. But this will appear on the playlist for the whole build series before that episode. Watch this one first. The reason I'm doing this is because I do something in the first episode, which is labelled as episode seven. I know it's a joke, never mind, that will cause you massive problems later on if you do what I tell you to do. And I didn't realise this until somebody very kindly pointed out in the comments on that video, you know, a few days later. So... Here's the issue. In that video, you will see me glue these tubes and this front piece together once I've built the first laser assembly. You'll see me put glue on here. Do not, do not do that. We will apparently have to take this apart again and insert some fiber optics. So later on, do not glue this at all. In fact, what I'm gonna do going forward is avoid gluing anything that looks like it might be anything other than you know a tiny part on r2 or something like that gluing a control stick onto the dashboard of the cockpit might be fine but anything where i might potentially have to come back and take it apart again i'm not going to do any gluing so although in the next video which is episode one which is actually episode seven is labeled you'll see me glue this do not glue this together at all i tried cutting these and pulling this off it wouldn't it was completely fixed so that is now useless probably i don't know yet because i don't know how the lighting goes together so it may just be you pop that off and put it in there that might be fine but i don't want to take that risk so do not glue this together i also want to be able to take this apart anyway to do stuff inside in case the wiring was loose so again don't glue this together at all do not do what i tell you i couldn't edit it out of the video because youtube's rubbish and it just it wouldn't let me edit that bit out so when you see me glue this do not do that I have gone ahead and ordered myself replacement issues one, two, and three, and I've rebuilt it, and I have not glued this together. However, there is one thing you can do to make your life easy. If you watch me build this, you'll see that I, you know, I, I had a nervous time getting these to line up to the little holes. When you assemble this, what you can do is take your modeling knife, and those little tubes go into two little holes in the assembly there. What you want to do before you assemble it is just take your knife, and just run them around the hole very gently just to carve them out a little bit it just widens those little holes so that when you do put this back together again if i can line it up correctly without actually bothering to look at it when you do put this back together again it should go together much more easily if i can get that stand out there it will go together much more easily and there's less chance of you actually like that bending or snapping those little rods There we go. So that's now back together. So just drill them out a little bit with your knife just to make life easier, just to reduce the risk of actually snapping those. Now there's one other thing I wanted to show you. I was hoping with this replacement that the wobbly laser tube would be fixed. It's not, it's still wobbly as anything. That's just absolutely rubbish. So we will have to glue this later on. I explained it in this. However, what I did while I was storing this and before I realized I'd screwed this thing up, I just taped this together so this didn't fall apart in the box while it's in storage. And I learned a valuable lesson from that. 
This is just standard Tamiya masking tape. Look at that. It's stripped not only the black spray paint that makes the weathering, it's also stripped the grey base paint off this metal tube completely. It's just it's just ripped it off. And this isn't even strong masking tape. This is model making Tamiya tape, so it's very gentle stick, very low tack. And it's taken that paint off completely. Now, if you're going to be painting this when you finish building it, if you're going to paint all this lot, that doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's not a problem. However, if you're not planning on painting this and you're just going to go with the factory paint job that comes with the assembly, with the part work, what you want to make sure you're doing is not putting any kind of masking tape on anything anywhere. Now, I did put some around here and it didn't pull any of the paint off the plastic because paint grips better than plastic. This is clearly the, the paint's not gripped to the metal tubing. So what I would say is if it's a metal component, don't put masking tape on it at all. If it's plastic, you'd probably be all right, but might not be worth taking the risk. But if you're not planning on painting this, what you might want to do, if you have to mask anything off or put tape around something to hold it in place, is perhaps, first of all, just maybe put on a, a sealant of some sort, a gloss or matte varnish, just to protect the paint, so that when you do put masking tape on, it's less likely to rip it off. However, with metal components, if this paint has just been placed straight on the metal and there's no primer on there, because that's, I mean, it's, it's white, but I don't know if that's primer or what. So whatever this paint isn't gripping to, even if you varnish it first, you'll probably still pull it off. So I would say as much as possible, avoid using masking tape. If you're not going to paint this, avoid using masking tape, especially on metal components. Um, it's weird that, but I did notice that. But again, if you're painting it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. And we are going to be repainting this once it's been built and everything's been assembled. I'm going to repaint it. So I don't actually care. Now I can't use this. Well, I might be able to. It might be when we put the fiber optics in, we just slot them in there. And then I can put that back on there. If that's the case, I've got myself a spare laser gun. If not, I'll just keep it to one side just in case. But I've got this one now. So what we might need to do, I suddenly realised as well, I might need to take this back apart if when I plug this in and test it, the light doesn't work. One other thing as well, when you make the assembly inside here, and again, you'll see me do this, the little bulb doesn't stick out much when I filmed building it. It does need to stick out all the way. So make sure the little bulb is sticking out all the way. So there you go, quick cautionary caveat explaining why you shouldn't do what I did do, which was really stupid because I are a spoon, basically. There you go, so basically don't glue anything. And like I said, going forward, I'm probably not gonna glue anything now until I know for sure I don't need to take it apart again. So I might do the occasional little greeble and detail here and there because that's fine. Stuff like this, I'm not even gonna think about gluing until I know I that the lighting works and everything can be left as it is and I don't need to ever take it apart. So let's be careful. Now, there is one other thing because I had to basically reorder issues one, two and three to rebuild a new laser cannon. It means I have a spare blueprint which was received in issue one. It's a massive blueprint that's the size of this and it's a great poster. I'm going to give it away because I've already got one. I don't need another one. I'm going to give it away. If you want to win it, all you need to do is put a comment on this video and put a comment about how special I am, as in special. I'm a bit of an idiot. I'm a bit of a spoon. Just do an eye roll. Do a comment that's an eye roll because I messed it up. Just sit there and go, oh, fox, your spoon or whatever you want to do. Just, you know, don't be nasty about it. Let's be nice here. Let's be nice about it. But basically call me a spoon because I messed it up. Put a comment down there. And what will happen is when I do the next X-Wing video, which will be when I receive the next pack of, uh, of bits, which should be in the next three to four weeks, I would assume. Uh, when we do the next one, I will pull at random a winner from those comments and that person will win the big fat blueprint that I have going spare. So stick a comment on this video. You can actually put a comment about anything. It doesn't matter. Just put a comment uh, and I will pull a winner next time we do an X-Wing video in the next few weeks. But that's going to do it. So thank you very much for watching. Like I say, I hope you're watching this before everything else. Apologies, I wasn't able to edit it out the other video because YouTube's pants. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do take care of yourselves. Remember the promo code, promo X-Wing UK and the web address in the video description below. If you're going to subscribe to this, do it that way. You'll get the free stuff. And I will say thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Go make something awesome. Go be awesome. You there. Yes, you. And until next time. Adios, amoebas. <laughs>